Okay, the next step in the guitar building process is going to be uh, doing the electronics. And I am planning on having two pots, uh, a volume and a tone, and then a three-way switch. But the volume and the tone pots are also going to allow me to split the coils. So the humbucker, instead of being a, a double coil, it's going to be a single coil if we pull oops, pull that out. So pull, push, push for in for double, pull for single. A little hard to do one handed. Anyway, so uh, the next step is basically doing the soldering. I'm going to do most of the the pre wiring now uh, for most of it, except for when I have to actually do the. The, uh, the <laughs> pickups themselves. So we'll wait to do those pickups um, once we get them near the body. Uh, but I want to get most of the wiring done here. <laughs> they are in now after being wired I just went back inside the house to test the pickups and they, they seem to be working just right so uh, the next step is just gonna be cleaning this up I'm gonna be putting this on here you have to drill those holes I am gonna have to do the whole uh, drill socket in there I'm going to have to uh, this is the ground for the um, the tremolo, uh, I was gonna I was thinking about just putting it uh, into the screws to the bridge, but it doesn't matter. I will just do that, and then um, we'll put the rest together.
So this is my zebra wood through neck semi hollow body guitar build. It is fully custom, handmade. The zebra wood was actually mixed with maple, some bird's eye maple. The fretboard is zircote. The inlays are mother of pearl. The pickups are custom center punch humbuckers from Dylan pickups and they are split coil, coil split. This is the back of the guitar. You can see the maple and zebra wood mixed together all the way through to the headstock.